Good evening once again. I want to have a, a brief devotion tonight on the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives as believers. And uh, tonight I, I'm thinking of the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 13 uh, that has Paul saying in him also, uh, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation and believed in him, all referring to Jesus, you, the Christian, were sealed with the Holy Spirit. And I want to focus on this act of sealing that is done in us by God's Spirit when we put our faith in Jesus Christ. We were sealed. It is uh, a past tense verb and it's passive. That means we didn't seal ourselves. We didn't seal ourselves, so therefore we can't unseal ourselves. The uh, image of sealing is taken, and, and I'm sure you've seen this in, in even older movies because the practice really continued on, um, you know, for quite some time where a, a king would, uh, you know, dip his, his ring in, um, in wax and then put his official seal upon some document. And, you know, if that was broken or tampered with in any way, uh, then there would be consequences, right? Uh, so uh, the one who brought the message had to bring it intact, and then the person receiving it from the king knew that this was uh, an official letter or document because it had the king's signet stamp upon it or his seal upon it. And that's the image that Paul uses when he describes the Holy Spirit. It's as if the Spirit um, takes us and, and puts his mark indelibly upon us and presents us to the Father. And nothing, unlike a, a human letter where I could break that seal, Nothing can break that seal. Nothing. No power of hell. No scheme of man, as the song in Christ alone says, could ever pluck us from his hand. And so uh, Satan cannot do it. Our own sin, even our backsliding, cannot do it. And so in him you were sealed. Does this mean that every day, uh, you will have, you know, the most fantastic experience conversing with the Holy Spirit or knowing that he's in your life, giving glory to God? No. You still have a sin nature and you're still going to blow it. Uh, would that every day was perfect. Would that our spiritual growth trajectory was, boom, you know, straight up in the air. But that's, that's just not how it works um, because... We grow in, in fits and starts, and we will fall down and fail many, many times. But our Lord is perfect. Our Lord is gracious. Our Lord um, sent his Son to the cross for us. He accomplished our salvation. He ascended to heaven, sent the Spirit, and the Spirit himself seals us when we hear the gospel, believe it, for our faith in Jesus, our salvation is guaranteed. So I say this to encourage you because, as I said, you will have days where you don't feel so wonderful. And we are to um, repent in those days when, in those moments when uh, we are not honoring God and to ask his spirit to come and, and fill us but uh, we are not to become overwhelmed or distraught by our sin because we were bought with a price and we were sealed with his spirit. And we can always keep that in mind that he who began a good work in us will uh, bring it to completion. And so, uh, dear Christian, if you are in Christ, you're sealed 
with the Holy Spirit. If you're not in Christ, then uh, what's keeping you? What's keeping you? You're not going to have it all figured out, I can tell you that. And I would also challenge that you put your faith in a lot of things without having those things all figured out. If you're waiting to have God all figured out, well, you're going to wait forever. And you don't have forever. You won't have them all figured out. But that which you need to know, that God became uh, flesh in the person of his son. His son lived the perfect life for us. His son died in our place, facing the punishment that our sin deserved. His son then gave to all who believe in him every ounce of his own righteousness and took every ounce of our sin, the great exchange. And it's simply a gift to be received by faith alone. We receive it. We appropriate it. Take it on. But behind the scenes, in a mark that we don't see, we are sealed by the Holy Spirit. And that is encouraging, encouraging news. So with that said, as I said, pretty brief, hopefully uh, encouraging. And now I'd like to pray for us. Father, thank you for your work on the cross. Thank you for your continued work in our life, conforming us to the image of Christ. Thank you for the work of your spirit in sealing us for the day of redemption and not just sealing us and then backing away, but continuing to uh, convict us of our sin and to um, grow your fruit in us and uh, eventually uh, to fully conform us to the image of Jesus. And so, Father, thank you. From first to last, salvation is of you. And we praise you and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, thank you so much. And I shall see you at some point tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.